you have no ability to use that stuff properly if you don't have a good healthy microbiome, you don't have a healthy mac, the micronutrient base that you can actually absorb these food. It's not what you eat, it's what you can absorb. If we can improve that process, you're going to feel better after you can improve that gut and serotonin that we just talked about, but it comes back to what you can really do and control in this time to make yourself feel so much better in your immune system and everything else to go along with it. Yeah, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. And I think the thing is, is, it's remembering that without the micronutrients from your vegetables, you can't actually absorb or break down the macronutrients that you're intaking. So if you're just having your chicken and rice and you're not having the greens with them, what is the body supposed to do with them? Because the, macro, the, mac, the micronutrients all come from mostly those vegetables and the fiber that you're intaking. So making sure having your, like you're having half a plate a day I know I'm um, sorry twice a day otherwise one it's not going to be making up the stools properly which again affects the gut microbiome it affects how um, your body is actually able to detox a little bit in terms of dragging all the toxins out so making even if you're having eggs for breakfast now that you've got a little bit more time to make your breakfast at home can you add in some spinach can you add in some tomatoes and mushrooms and that sort of thing if you're going to have more of a high fat breakfast eggs with avocado and a whole lot of veggies is going to be perfect for you and then you've kind of ticked off some of those leafy greens and some really good nutrients at the start of the day and then trying to get it through the rest of the day so that you're you're constantly fueling your body with stuff that's going to give you not only energy but a whole lot of nutrients yeah, absolutely. I hope all of your team have got away from your cocoa pot, pops and protein shakes by now. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Cool. So what we want to dive into on this page as well, I think is something we can add to what you're currently doing is, is making sure you have a real base of your health supplements. And it, it, I ask a lot of people that, it's basically like a, a protein shake and some pre-workout. Both of those things are probably something I'd eliminate for most people and very much not at the start of your list. Um, yeah. So for, for men especially, I want to make sure that zinc is on top of that list. It's something that we, we both just talked about as being crucial. Uh, it's always low, it, it, or at least on your blood test, will something come through that is typically very low. Uh, nutritionally wise, we just want to make sure we can keep these levels up. New Zealand soils, it seems that selenium is also on that list, but I think Brazil nuts and nutritionally what you bring in is also really important. Uh, mm -hmm. But obviously, uh, Sri, I'll let you go through most of that list. What, what would you say are the main three or four we'd add in? Yeah, so I'll definitely um, second you on the zinc because zinc is also incredibly like, um, incre incredibly important for your immune system. Um, it also can help in terms of if you've got something like leaky gut, if you know what that is, we can go into that a little bit deeper at another stage, but it can really help with the healing of that. So zinc is definitely number one up there alongside some vitamin C. So especially during times of stress, we want to up the vitamin C, not only to protect the immune system, but it brings down um, our cortisol level, which is our stress hormone. And our cortisol level can, can be great in terms of it's a really good survival hormone, but over time it can start to erode the body. Um, if you're trying to put on muscle, it's very uh, catabolic, so it starts to break the muscle down. So it's making sure you've got that vitamin C to kind of, I always have a teaspoon of um, the powder first thing in the morning just to bring my cortisol levels down because quite often we start in that go 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 mentality and right now you need to be bringing those those stress levels down controlling what we can control i was going to ask with your your how you did the vitamin c i think powder is a, a great one um i've typically gone post-workout in, in the vitamin c yeah. so i think same idea like bringing cortisol down right mm -hmm. um, it's good for us in the morning it's good for us to have a spike or a elevation at some point but we need to moderate it Obviously, everybody hopefully now is going to count down and be able to take that time to bring cortisol down. But in the typical work, work day, people are literally spending eight hours in this high cortisol state. What do you think that's doing to the way you're trying to put muscle on and drop body fat? You're literally getting in the way of any of those processes functioning properly or even being possible because you're, in, you're stressed out and triggered at everything around you. So one, there's probably a mindset shift needed there. But two, we can add some things in to improve those micronutrients, improve uh, lowering those after things like exercise. Yeah. So the other things I'd suggest that um, just generally speaking, and even more so during this time, is also your magnesium because it has such an incredible, as you know, effect on recovery. It's going to help your sleep during this time, which we're going to get into a little bit more. It's going to calm the nervous system right down again. So not only are you taking care of yourself with breathing and meditation and slowing down in that respect, but you've got another supplement there to really support and nourish you. Um, also your omegas, like your omega-3 fish oils are going to be really, really important too because they again be very anti-inflammatory um, and it's just making sure the body's getting some really good sources of fats there. Yeah, 